the, the thing that we're interested in is what sort of threads tie together these applications that really are better suited in an on-prem deployment. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is confidentiality. There is certain data that just can never go into a public environment. So that's, that's a huge factor. Other issues are, are, say, regulatory issues around specific market segments. So there are a lot of industries where there's lots of rules in place about what can and can't go into a public cloud. The other thing is performance. If you're doing data analytics and you're chewing through terabytes, terabytes of data, the latency that's inherent in a public environment isn't ideal. Much better to have a, a private cloud deployment of that workload because it can access uh, without virtually any latency at all, all of the big data that you need to chew through on site. So that's another use case. The third thing is, is edge deployments. So, you know, we have a slide that shows a cruise ship. The market's a lot bigger than just cruise ships, but there's lots of customers who, who go offline occasionally, or they'll have locations that aren't in a seven by 24 net access environment. In a situation like that, it's great to have an on-prem version of Azure, and that's what Azure Stack is. And then the last thing is simply modern development. Folks want to develop applications that can be easily deployed either on-prem or in a public environment. And that's what Azure and Azure Stack provides. So I'm not going to go into a deep dive on this slide. We've got a website and we've got subject matter experts that can do that. The thing I'm gonna point out, if you look at the stack on the left and the stack on the right, they're identical. And I, I think that's the power of Azure. It's a common API that goes across the public and the private deployment of Azure. So you write once, you can deploy anywhere. That's a huge benefit that other clouds don't provide. 